Hey guys, so today we're gonna to talk about mean absolute deviation. Um, and all you need to know to find the MAD or the mean absolute deviation is how to find the mean or the average of a data set and how to subtract. <clears throat> so, all right, so uh, this talks about what MAD is. So MAD on average is how far the data pieces are from the mean of the data set. So basically, how far away each piece of data is from the average of that data. Um, these are the three steps to find it. So to find, um, first you're going to find the mean. So you'll find the average of the data set by adding them all up and dividing by how many are in the data set. Uh, next you will find the distance each piece is from each piece of data is from the mean. So subtract each piece of data from the average, and you'll wanna make sure to always use the absolute value of uh, the answer you get. And then the last step is to find the mean of those distances. So once you do all the subtracting, the numbers that you get, the distances between each of the data sets from the average, you will then find the average of those. Now the MAD, the number that you get, tells you how much variability is in your data set. So if you, if you do this whole process and your MAD is a larger number, that means that your data set is pretty spread out. There's a, there's a, uh, there's a lot of variability within the data set, okay? If you find your MAD and the number is relatively small, so say like 1.6, that's a pretty small number, or one and six tenths, um, that means that your data set, the numbers are pretty close together. They're not as spread out. So there's less variability inside of your data set. Okay? All right, so make sure you have out a piece of paper and that you're also split screening this with the Google Slides that we've posted for today. All right, so for this one, we're going to go ahead and find the mat. It says, what is the mat for the following set of numbers? So. The first thing we're gonna do, step one, is to find the mean of the data set. So to find the mean, remember, we're gonna take those numbers, whoops, hold on just a second. Okay, there we go. We're gonna take those numbers and we're gonna add them up together. That's the first step in finding the mean or the average. So nine plus six plus 12 plus 10 plus eight would give me 45. And then we're gonna divide by how many numbers are in the data set. So one, one, two, three, four, five. So 45 divided by five, that would give us nine. So the mean here is nine. Okay, the next step is to find the distance of each number in the data set from the mean. So our mean is nine. So we're gonna look at our first number in our data set, which is nine, and the mean in our data set, which is nine, and we're gonna find the distance, which would be subtracting those two values. So nine minus nine is zero. Now we're gonna find out how far six away is from nine. So nine minus six is three. Now we're gonna do 12 and nine. So nine minus 12. Well, that would give me negative three, but remember we gotta take the absolute value of that. So the absolute value of negative three is three. Then we've got 10, so nine minus 10, which is negative one. Again, we're gonna take the absolute value of that, which is one. And then the last one is nine minus eight, which would give us one. So once we found all the distances, I'm gonna highlight those. We had zero, three, three, one, and one. We are gonna take those distances and we are gonna find the mean or we're gonna find the average of those distances. So we're gonna do just like we did in step one. We're gonna add all those highlighted numbers together and divide by how many are in the set. So zero plus three plus three plus one plus one, okay? So zero plus three is three, three plus three is six, six plus one is seven, seven plus one is eight. So the sum is eight, and we're gonna divide by how many numbers are in this set. One, two, three, four, five. So eight divided by five, and eight divided by five would give us 1.6. Okay, so 1.6 is the MAD of the data set. 
So this number, our MAD, tells us how much variability the data set has, and 1.6 I would say is a pretty small value, so this means that the numbers are relatively close together. And if you look at the original data set, um, I would agree that all of those numbers are pretty close together. Um, all right. Make sure you go ahead and upload a picture of the work that you just did with me to the next slide. All right, so let's take a look at this uh, set of data. Um, we are still finding the MAD. So the first step is to find the mean. So to find the mean, we need to first add all of the numbers in the data set. So do this with me. Okay, when you add all of those numbers up, you should get 553. And then we're gonna divide by how many numbers we have in this data set. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. So we're gonna divide that by seven. Uh, 553 divided by seven is going to give us 79. 79, okay, so that is our mean for the data set. So next we're gonna find the distance between all of the numbers in the data set um, from the mean. So I'm gonna pause the video. I want you to go ahead and subtract all of these numbers in the data set from 79 and make sure you take the absolute value of those numbers. So go ahead and do that. All right, so let's take a look at what we should have gotten here. So 79 minus 30 would give us 49. 79 minus 75 gives us four. 79 minus 80 gives us negative 1, and the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. 79 minus 88 should give you negative 9. The absolute value of that is positive 9. 79 minus 90 gives me negative 11. Absolute value of that is 11. And then the same thing for the one below it. It's the same numbers. And then 79 minus 100 is negative 21. The absolute value of that is 21. <clears throat> All right, so the last and final step is to then find the mean of all of those distances. So all those things we highlighted in green, we are going to add them up and divide by how many are in the data set. So we've got 49 plus four plus one plus nine plus 11 plus 11 plus 21. When you add all of those numbers up, you should have gotten 106. And we're going to divide by how many numbers are in this data set. And in this data set, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven numbers. So 106 divided by seven. And when you type that into the calculator, 106 divided by seven gives us a pretty long number. I'm going to round it to the nearest hundredth place, which would give me 15 and 14 hundredths. So that is our MAD or our mean absolute deviation. Now if you notice in the little corner, left hand corner here, it says outlier. So it wants us to figure out what the outlier of this data set is. So an outlier is a value that lies on the outside of most other values in a data set. So it's the, it's the one that sticks out, it doesn't really fit in with the rest of the numbers. And if you look at the original data set, you can kind of tell that 30 really stands out. And you can also see it down in step two when you're finding the distance of all of the numbers from the average. Um, 30 is, is a lot further away from the average than the rest of the numbers. Um, so the outlier here would be 30. Now if we take a look back at the MAD that we got, 15 and uh, 14 hundredths, that is a much larger number than the one that we got in the previous slide. So that shows us that this data set has a greater range of numbers. And since we do have that outlier, that makes sense. Uh, we have a number that really is separated from the rest of it. It's a lot more spread out than the previous problem that we just did. Make sure that you take a picture of the work that you just did with me and upload it to the next slide.
okay, for this one, I want you guys to do this completely on your own. So pause the video. I want you to find the mean, find the distance uh, between the mean and all of the numbers in the data set, and then I want you to find the mean of all of those distances. So once you have done it all on paper, I want you to come back. Um, I will have my page completely filled out, and we'll just I'll walk you through what we did, um, and just make sure you have the same answers that I do. All right, guys, so for this one, for the mean of the original data set, I got 90, because when I added them all up, I got 540. And there were six numbers in the data set, so I divided by six, and that gives me 90. So then I went to find the distance of all of those points with 90. So 90 minus um, 85 gave me five. Okay, 90 minus 90 is zero. 90 minus 100 is negative 10. Absolute value of that is 10. 90 minus 95 is negative five. Absolute value of that is just five. 90 minus 75 is 15. And then 90 minus 95 is negative five. Absolute value of that is five. So I took those numbers, I added them all up, and I got 40, and divided by how many were in the data set, which is six. 40 divided by six is 6.6 6, um, with the six repeating forever. So six and six tenths, the six repeating forever. Or if you wanted to round to the nearest hundredth, um, that would be six and 67 hundredths. I'm sorry, six and 67 hundredths. Um, Okay, so this number is kind of in between the two numbers that we've gotten so far. The first mad that we got was one and six tenths, and the second one was 15 and 14 hundredths. So six and six tenths um, shows that there's some variability in the data, but they're relatively close together. Please make sure you upload a picture of the work that we just did together to the next slide. All right, for this last uh, slide, it's a multiple choice question. It says, if the mad for a set of uh, grades is three. What statement might you be able to say about the grades if the mean was 80 out of 100%? Um, so remember that MAD tells you how much um, each piece of data deviates from the, the average, how much, how different it is uh, from the average. So if you look at um, A, it says student scores were between 80 and 83 on average. Um, so while that might be true, they, the students may have scores that were less than 80 as well because remember we took the absolute value of all of those differences. So a student could have made below an 80 as well. So A would not be the correct answer. Um, B, student scores were 83. Um, well, since the average is 80, you've got to have scores that are less than that because remember average is, you know, kind of the overall, you can have um, numbers that are lower than that in the data set and you can have numbers that are higher than that. So we can't assume that all of the scores were 83, especially when the average was 80. Um, all students got a B. We also can't assume that because um, students could have gotten less than and 80, because that's just the average. So there's numbers that are gonna be less than 80 in the data set. Um, and then the last one, student scores were between 77 and 83. Now, if you think about it, remember we said that MAD is how much a number deviates from the average. So if we were to take this average, 80, and subtract three from 80, we would get 77. Um, and then if we would take 80 and we would add three, the mad to it, we would get 83. So um, we can say that D is the correct answer. Um, that's the statement that we might be able to say about these grades, is that since the mad was three, that means it, it changed by three, but it could be in the um, in above 80 or below 80. So out of the options, that one is the one that fits the best um, for this scenario.